What's up guys? So uh, niacin, Nutricost, this is vitamin B3, this is a powder form, there's nothing else added in, that's what I probably like the most about this. Uh, niacin, I love it a lot because it helps with so much. If you're experiencing anxiety or depression or tons of other things, this may definitely benefit you. Um, I first learned about this maybe through Abram Hoffer and his work. Uh, the book Niacin, The Real Story is actually fantastic information about niacin. So the thing about B vitamins in general and this is that you need them all together. They work like a big, like a good baseball team. You can't get the job done if you only have one of them out on the field. So if you're experiencing the anxiety, the depression, stuff like that, uh, here's a little tidbit. If you know a sad, depressed alcoholic, then they need more thiamine or B1. So if somebody's drunk and really depressive or depressive in general, then lots of B vitamins may benefit them very well. I love that the fact that they're water soluble and your body can pass them through your body very easily. Abram Hoffer talked about the optimal dosage of niacin is around three grams per day and you could divide it maybe one or two, I mean divide it definitely into two or three different dosage. Um, I'll do one after a meal in general. For me personally, if I take B-complex and niacin on an empty stomach, I'm just fine. Some people would do better probably on a full stomach. There's so many different benefits of B vitamins with mental health, digestive health, metabolic health, lots of reasons. I really believe in B vitamins and I think everybody should be taking it. This container actually lasts a very long time because 250 grams and I mean, look at this, you don't, that's one gram right there in the scoop. And it's way easier. I don't have to deal with having additional additives of magnesium stearate. It doesn't list any, anything else on the label. No flavorings, no nothing. And it just doesn't want to focus. <laughs> Anyways, you get the picture, it's powder. And yeah, this lasts a ridiculously long time, not very expensive comparatively when you're paying for capsules, encapsulation, and a bunch of additives. As you see there, it's non-GMO. In my personal opinion, I don't believe you can get enough niacin or other B vitamins from your food. That's, I mean, one easy argument I can make is that if you could get it easily from your foods, we wouldn't be fortifying uh, grains today. And a lot of people are realizing, hey, grains aren't very healthy to me the way they are today anyways. Uh, grain, brain, Dr. Perlmuter, all those things. I am on board. I'm a, on keto, been on keto for over a year, probably a year and a half now. Love it, lost so much weight, feel so much better. But yeah, 250 grams, just over half a pound. Niacin, take it with a good B complex. I really like the emerald uh, methylated B complex form. I also use, I've used Now or Solgar B-Complex. Um, the Emerald is probably far superior. You're gonna pay a little bit extra for that. Uh, take a meso, all of them together. So the thing is, uh, niacin causes a flush. This is very important to know that after you take this, depending on your blood sugar levels, when your blood sugar is low, your uh, niacin flush will kick in and you'll feel really hot from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet and it'll last anywhere between a half hour to an hour. A lot of people kind of freak out. The thing is if you take vitamin C with it, it'll dramatically reduce the histamine response, the redness, the itchiness, and pins and needles, if you will, some people experience. Um, as you continue to take this on a daily, regular basis, that feeling will go down and it'll get to the point, if you take it consistently, that only you will know you're flushing and it won't be much at all. Anyways, um, so usually I suggest people slowly work up to the three grams per day that Hoffer suggested and maybe started with a 50 or a 100, in which case you probably wouldn't use this because that's kind of hard to measure with that. You saw how small the scoop was. Uh, anyways, when I first started taking this, and I've been taking this for several years for sure now, when I first started taking this, I took a thousand milligrams and it was quite a shocker. I knew what to expect. I was ready for it. So it was pretty amazing. Lot, lots of heat. Uh, the thing is that can feel very therapeutic if you have any joint issues. 
So I actually really liked it on my sore joints at the time, which I've gradually improved in a lot of different ways. But anyways, that's about all I wanted to say about niacin. There's tons of other information about what benefits you may experience from niacin, like lowering your cholesterol naturally or yeah, just eliminating toxins, helping with blood flow, and all those other things I mentioned. So anyways, guys, stay healthy, and there's affiliate links in the description. Uh, if you'd like to help support this channel, create, help me create more content. And in general, thanks, guys. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching. The best I could really hope for is that you share this with somebody who may benefit. Thanks.